So Milan Pavkov has completed his transfer to um, Al Fayha of Saudi Arabia, uh, one million euro transfer, uh, three year deal, and he will be earning seven hundred fifty thousand euros uh, a year with his transfer. So, so very good, for, very very good transfer for Red Red Star in terms of the money that they'll get, and very good transfer for Milan Pavkov considering you know the money that he'll be making. Uh, Vukrašović is the current head coach of the team, and Vladimir Stojković is the goalkeeper for uh, Al Fayha. He was the goalkeeper for Partizan. He was with Red Star prior to that, and he had experience in Europe as well. So, um, Milan Pavko is a very interesting player. Uh, five years at Red Star, you're pretty much guaranteed 50 goals a season when when he was healthy, when he played, scored some big goals, uh, two against Liverpool that I think. Red Star fans will never forget uh, in their 2-0 win against Liverpool at the Rajkomitic Stadium. He was in that mix when we played uh, Salzburg, um, the Austrian side, uh, Red Bull Salzburg. You know, Red Star were nowhere to be seen for 64 minutes on the pitch. And then, you know, one foul and the foul was on Milan Pavko, who had his head cut open. And we scored two goals in, I think it was like 45 seconds. And we just played defensive football and got into Champions League. So he was a part of that. He was in the middle of all of that. Um, there was the goal against AC Milan uh, in, again, Raiko Mitic Stadium. Uh, that was two years ago in the Europa League. So the round of 32, uh, he scored in the 93rd minute to, you know, the tight. Tied to finish two two and then one one in uh, Milan, so it was a, another uh, headed goal to to Gigi Donnarumma's far post and he was just always kind of in the middle of of, of everything. Um, he's not gonna kill you with pace. Um, he's excellent in the air. Hold up play is okay. Could be a little bit better. He's still only twenty eight years old, so he's he's. He's not an old striker um, by any means. He's been called up to the Serbian national team. Let me just, yeah, so he's he made his debut in 2019. So he's featured for them. Uh, for Red Star in 152 matches, 59 goals and 20 assists. I think the 20 assists kind of maybe stand out a little bit uh, because usually strikers of his caliber, strikers who are taller at that, you don't expect him to kind of get others involved. Uh, but he does, and he does a very good job of that. Um, always willing to put his head in and you know in places where guys won't put their foot in uh so to say and and he's not afraid to mix it up he's not afraid to kind of be the turning point when he comes on on for his team the joker as they say like the almost like the 12th man that you know you could bring on off the bench and he and he can make a difference that's him uh because he provides a lot of energy there's obviously stuff that he does on the pitch sometimes um that's that's kind of on call for he gets into a lot of like heated debates and then sometimes he's he's his tackling isn't that great, and um, yeah, but five years at the club, you know, it takes a, it takes a special player to last at a club for five years. Like it's a long time when there's so much turnover in football today. You know, guys stay at their clubs for less than a year and then they're gone to 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 a new experience, a new club. And he stayed at the club for five years. Like I said, you're pretty much guaranteed at least 15 goals every season if he's healthy and around five assists. 20, 25, 30 matches. And I was actually going back to my Twitter feed and I, I kind of looked up all the times that I mentioned him. And, you know, since 2018, we've been talking about his departure, which is crazy because he came in, I think, 2017. So a year after that, we were already talking about his departure, um, you know, looking to sell him. And then 2020 was the same thing. And last year again, and then this year he's finally sold. But um, yeah, there was rumors about him going possibly going to MLS. Um, Saudi Arabia was always an option. Um, United Arab Emirates, I think, was an option as well. Um, so yeah, uh, the, the transfer is finally done. In terms of where Red Star are now, Alexander Pesic now clearly becomes the starting center forward. You still have Ohiomi Wanfo, who the club is looking to sell as well. Um, rejected uh, Bromby's proposal of 1 million euros. The club wants at least 1.5 to 2 million euros for him. Uh, Molde has come out and I think they're interested as well. So we'll look to see what happens there. And uh, he actually came from Molde as, as a free agent, so to say. Uh, so he's very fam familiar with the team. So we'll see what happens with that transfer. But I mean, this, I mean, if Ohi is sold as well, 
we need to bring in a center forward because you can't just lean on um, Alexander Pesic uh, with the Pavko transfer and with Ohi possibly leaving, uh, you're going to need to upgrade at, at, at center forward. And I think either Ohi is going to have a much bigger role at the club, which honestly I can see kind of happening. Maybe he doesn't get sold uh, just because we're so close. I mean, it's the 25th. We have what a, probably a week left in the transfer window. Um, and if Ohi does get sold, you you have to sign a new center forward. You, you can't go with one center forward into Europa League. I mean, that's a recipe for disaster. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Um, rest of the transfer window, like I said, there's six, seven days left. So once again, uh, Milan Pavkov to um, Alfaikia, uh, 1 million euros, 750,000 annually. Uh, the best of luck to the best of luck to him. We'll never forget some of the. Uh, goals that he scored in crucial matches for Red Star.